Christy, we all have our blood pressure taken from time to time and, uh, you know, when we go to the doctor, but it's important to keep track of the blood pressure and understand what those pressure meetings, uh, readings mean. For uh, more on that, we are joined by Dr. Kirk Bonner from uh, Toro Family Medicine. Dr. Bonner, good morning to you. So, so what exactly, you know, does blood pressure say about our overall health? So blood pressure is very important to know about. As we get older, we have resistance in our system from getting older, having more stiff arteries and having more uh, weight on us a lot of times. A lot of issues cause us to have a high blood pressure, which is the, what the heart has to do to beat to produce our circulation. So in, in terms of those numbers, you know, I've, I've sometimes heard some people say that one number is more important than the bottom and the top. They really both matter, but what, what do they measure? Yeah, so what we do is we use a blood pressure cuff and we measure, we have two measurements. One is when our heart beats and tries to push blood through our vascular system. The other number is called diastolic, is when our heart is relaxed between beats. So, you know, what are we looking for in terms of those numbers? One, I know one, 150 over 120 is not a good number. <laughs> no, not a good number. We, we don't like to see that. We'll usually uh, immediately try to address that. We're very good at that also. But in general, normal blood pressure is considered under 120 over 80 and high blood pressure in the clinic, 140 over 90, but it's less than that in the home setting. Well, you know, I think you raise a good point there in terms of treatment. I know there are medications, uh, diet matters too. If, if somebody, you know, hits the age of 50 and they realize uh, on a trip to the doctor's office that, uh-oh, that, that's creeping up, what do they do about it? Yeah, I think it's very important to lower blood pressure accurately, knowing what the numbers are. So it's important to take the blood pressure uh, multiple times, and it's important to use the right medicines if needed and address the reasons for that high blood pressure. And then finally, you know, let's talk to the 25-year-olds here for just a second. Uh, what's it important for, you know, th this is an issue that's going to come up in decades for people from now, but, but it's important to, to bear in mind now what you, what you can do to prevent so, it from going up? Yeah, so bl high blood pressure is epidemic. And it's because of lifestyle, it's because of diet, lack of uh, exercise, lack of sleep. Um, and uh, all these things combined, plus gaining weight as we get older, all cause high blood pressure. All right. Well, uh, those are important numbers to keep in mind, and we appreciate the message. Dr. Kirk Bonner from Turo. Thanks. Thank you.